was just given a challenge by Darnock. Uh, well, not really a challenge. More asking me to watch this video and him and uh, me recording it so y'all can see my reaction. Cause from what I can already tell from the title of this video, this is gonna be this is gonna be fucking aggravating. So, um, and I did just leave a call with them. Uh, they wanted me to stay in the call, but I was was gonna go to sleep because they do have class in the morning and it's almost midnight. And then I was like, no, nah, fuck it, that, that that would just look too bad. I don't want to make it look like I didn't do it right then. So, you know what I mean? Like, I watched it and then whatever. So, here we go. The name of this video is Atheist Stupid Statements. <laughs> Answer with a hypothetical answer, getting us nowhere. 
necessary to even have or trust, while gremlins or smurfs from the flying spaghetti monster, uh, you know. Who the fuck believes in smurfs? Nobody believes in this flying spaghetti monster. I don't understand this guy or he Alright, I'm gonna stop talking for All these need explaining themselves. If, if there were no God, then explaining would need explaining. And of course, this is like that thing I was saying earlier, where I do get into that, uh, the preconditions of, of intelligibility. It's called in other videos and in other videos I will yet make even more so, so stay tuned. But uh, they might also say, well, a person, uh, a person could easily say this or that, next Y Z film of like Harry Potter. A person could easily say that, but what a person could say is irrelevant. <laughs> Deal with what the person actually is saying to you at this particular time. Reality, not hypotheticals, is what we need to be dealing with, okay? So if, if no one is appealing specifically, because they'll pull Zeus out their back pocket from time to time. Uh, if no one is appealing to him... Who the f If you've ever met somebody that's pulling out Zeus, they're trolling you, dude. They're trolling you. That's it. Then don't bring them up, or you'll be a fool for doing so. <laughs> I mean, You're a fool for reacting to it. Look at the details about Zeus, if you wanted to, and his finiteness, and going to the historicity behind him, and the beliefs held by the followers of him, etc., and find that the fictional character is not even close to the biblical record in its claims about God. I mean, many times, the people who started the belief, like that of Zeus, they don't even hold to it in the same way that the mocking atheists presented today. So I'm not afraid of going down that road, but... He was... God, a god, a god of lightning. And Zeus was, like, the top god. That's mythology, dude. Greek mythology. Fucking look it up. Google search. Let's stick to what a person is actually talking about. Not what a per Well, you could say. I don't care what you could say. Let's deal with what we are saying. <laughs> but again, the devil is in the details. And I find that most atheists are afraid of details because it forces them into an uncomfortable area of scrutiny. I just think you're retarded. I think you have problems, dude. I, th I think what you need to do is go back to fucking high school. Maybe take, a, you know, an earth science class. You know, maybe basic biology. You know, actually try and figure out reality, which is what you're trying to explain what God presuppositional level. Their little soundbite criticisms that sound snappy don't even cut warm butter. They're pathetic. Secondly, an atheist does make a positive claim that God doesn't exist, and even if they don't, however, make this positive claim, they do make positive claims about the universe that supposedly exists apart from him, which is essentially the same thing as positively saying that he doesn't exist, all the while presupposing things which require God's existence. Yeah, see, there's a difference here. We can make that claim because we have evidence. Fucking evidence, bro. Always wins the debate. Right, 
subject. Bullshit, bro. They have a belief, which is positive, that God does not exist. Believing the opposite of me is not the same thing as having a non belief. And when 80% of the world or more believes in a God, atheism is not really a non belief. Atheism is more of a rejection to the theistic claim. Processes that you have tons and tons of testable, verifiable evidence for. It's this fucking random sky daddy that I have. Fucking, bruh, 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 whatever the fuck. Anything else you're gonna say, dude? Thanks to Camp. Why did you make me watch the star? I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep now. I'm gonna have to fucking watch it again so I can make a proper one. Simple rule of the bird of proof. single god that you deny, you know, Vishnu, Krishna, Allah, Buddha, you know, I'm expecting a whole lot of videos from you now, motherfucker. By the way, that's thousands, thousands, thousands.
don't even need to touch that, do I? Really, it just shows them to lack any sort of critical thinking skills. If you deny this X, if you know what that X is, and I'm trying to tell you to define it, but this is like that. You have to define it in this situation. You absolutely have to define it in this situation. How can you not? With the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of other gods that are out there. to him after a little bit, gets slaughtered, sent to the meat house. That's why I laugh about the whole Jesus is my shepherd. A sh being sheep is a horrible, horrible thing. Being led by a shepherd is horrible. Why? Because he leads you to a slaughter eventually.
go. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. But I'm probably gonna watch this again. And actually, probably the rest of this retarded series is gonna. I just go at him. And I see this atheist most feared question. Oh my god. Alright, man. I'm gonna get uploading this because I know you guys can see it on my channel that I started watching this. So. But I'm going to sleep. Peace, y'all. Uh, this, this dude. This dude.